It's everywhere. Old models being spat on. Go back to your country. And then it's also reinvented into insidious, sophisticated versions. And it's everywhere. It's in the fabric of our education. The airbrushed history we're taught in schools. It's in Celebrate Black History. Just for the month. It's history told through a white lens. It's in language and all the connotations around the word black. It's everywhere. It's in bearing the surnames of slave masters. That stuff's spiritual. It's in pop culture, enjoying everything about black culture, but black people. Capitalizing off that culture without any regard for the history. It's in the white savior of every narrative. It's in the black sidekick. But not the black protagonist. It's everywhere. It's in I don't see color. Clearly, colour is an issue. But you're doing me a favour by not seeing it. Thank you. Best intentions, I'm sure. But by blinding yourself, you mute conversation. It's everywhere. It's in the workplace, forever ticking boxes to diversify. Proving your worth, but having no power. You're just there for show. It's companies profiting from black struggle, black outrage, and not donating to the cause. It's in closing the door swiftly behind you because you assume I don't work there. It's everywhere. It's in the microaggressions. You're really bright. You're so well spoken. The low expectation. It's the disproportionate representation of us as criminals. Like it's in our DNA. It's the term black on black crime. <laughs> it's crime. There's no category for other races. It's everywhere. It's in the trope, strong black woman. An old trope used to justify working a black female slave to the bone. A trope that devalues my tears. A trope that says I can't be sensitive. It's everywhere. Touching my hair and touching my body because you want to. It's having every part of your body scrutinized. Desired and hated simultaneously. Hypersexual but not beautiful. It's in black women being the biggest spenders on a beauty industry that continues to reject us. Because black women don't sell magazines. It's in wearing your hair, how it grows from your scalp, and that being a political statement. Or unprofessional. It's everywhere. It's in expecting black friends you might have to educate you because you've just woken up to injustice. It's in the fact that it took a fully grown white man kneeling on the neck of a black man for that awakening to happen. This is not the first of this kind of murder. It's everywhere. We want to be left to live, jog in peace. We are people. We do people things. Let us live. Let us breathe. It's everywhere. It's when the looting starts, the shooting starts. It's the constant illustration of us as thugs. It's subconscious biases. It's Britain giving itself a pat on the back because it's not as bad as America. Congratulations. You are not innocent. It's in the message that we should be grateful for British tolerance, as if tolerance is the greatest virtue. Like you didn't colonize our land. It's expecting us to get over a wrong that still won't be named. It's everywhere. It's in white tears, having more currency than black blood. It's the celebration of empire. There's nothing common about the Commonwealth. It's in the fact that slave money is still in circulation. It's everywhere. It's having to figure out and explain why I'm offended. Just listen. Don't gaslight. Don't ask if I'm sure. Because we don't get the benefit of the doubt when it's the other way. It's everywhere. It's in the term BAME. A lazy way of collecting non-white experiences. It's in the term people of colour, confirming white as default. It's being institutionalised by your aspirations, believing you can work your way out of experiencing racism, and then learning... You can never work hard enough. It's everywhere. It's in assuming how to say my name and pronouncing it wrong, or abbreviating it, because that's easier. It's in the fact I am fatigued, but still I smile. Moving forward, black people have been shouting for a long time. White people. Listen. Don't assume. The black experience is nuanced. What doesn't bother me may offend someone else. You will not always get it right. But that should not stop you from trying. And when you feel tired of trying to navigate the injustice. Just remember, this is our whole lives. Read. Listen. Read some more. There is so much out there for consumption. Lots of work needs to be done. But I'm hopeful because it feels like we're beginning to acknowledge the problem. And regardless, we will thrive. We persist. We move. We move. We move. We move. We move. We move. 
we move.